Hey you guys, it's Janice. I had a request to do a video on how to make a salt shaker and um, I'm going to show you something that's based on an article that was in Pottery Making Illustrated back in the May-June issue of 2010. There was an article by Keith Phillips on how to make shakers that don't have stoppers. So you make a double walled pot with a cone on the inside and you can shape the outside however you want it. But it creates a little reservoir on the inside that when you poke a little hole in that inner cone when your pot's leather hard later on once it's fired you can fill it up from upside down and then when you shake it the particles that are in the reservoir on the inside just come up and come out the little hole in the top or top of the inner cone and you got your your shaker that way so you can do them in different shapes I've done several so you can see on the inside it's got a little cone that goes up in there and it's got a hole in it. So when you shake it, this guy is filled with salt. When you shake it, the salt actually comes out. <laughs> so check it out, I'll show you how to throw one. Alright, time to shake it up. This is a half pound of white stoneware. The type of stoneware is Little Loafer. It's made by High Water Clays based in Asheville, North Carolina. It's my favorite clay. This is a cone six stoneware body. So as I mentioned before, this is a double walled pot. So first we're going to throw the little inside section, which is just a simple cone. And then we'll come and throw the outside wall up around that cone. So first thing we need to do is get this open. And it should be open all the way down to the bat or the wheel head. This is where your salt or pepper is going to come out and also where you'll fill it. Get that completely open. I'm going to move some of this clay from the middle over toward the outside because we don't want this cone to be too high. You'll see what I mean here in a second. I'm going to save most of this for the outer wall. So now I'm just going to make a trough inside here. And the little center section, we're going to go ahead and pull into a cone. It's a good idea to slow the wheel down. <laughs> Not sure why I was going so fast. Absent minded. So I just get that little wall thinned out and then collar it right up into a cone. It's really convenient if you have a little tiny sponge on a stick at your disposal to get water out. So now, just collar this in. Until it's closed off. With air trapped in there, you can then sort of refine the shape of this a little bit. But essentially, cone shaped is good. Okay, so now we want to throw this section up and over top of the little cone. So, because this needs to come up over and around, not touching, you know, with a gap here, that's why you don't want to make this too tall. I'll let water sit in my trough here. So when this thing is filled with salt or pepper, it's going to be down in here. And then you'll put a hole right here at the top of that from the outside later on. 
when you shake it up and down, the salt that's in the trough will come up, hit that hole, and come out on your food. And it really does work. Okay, so now let's just pull this wall. Bring it vertical. Thin it out nicely. And then we'll close it right over top of that cone. Okay, that's nice and even. Got plenty of height so that at this point, when I collar it, it'll go over top of the cone on the inside. I'm just go ahead and collar this in. It's up to you what you want this shape of this outside wall to be. Maybe we'll make a little bell shape. A big knob on top to hold on to. That's my dog in the background, grumbling. So, <clears throat> once you get the general double wall concept down, it's fun to just sort of experiment with some different shapes and uh, see what you like. that.